Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today we're going to be drawing one of the gnomes from... Bluey! Yeah. I love blue. I do too. And, and then... wire crap. Yeah. So we thought it'd be fun to draw a gnome today. So join us. We're going to start with Gerald's hat. We're going to draw a diagonal line up and then curve it. And then we're going to come back down. Oh no, I did it kind of pointy. Yeah, you want it a little bit. Mom, that was like flat side like that. Yeah, mine was pretty flat. But I'm going <laughs> to make it point just a little bit more. And then I'm going to have it come out a little bit down here. And I'm going to have it hook up with this, where it's like a straight line down here. Do you see that? Yeah. And then another straight line over here. So we're gonna draw one eyebrow here. And then a little space. Is this a perfect curl? That's a perfect eyebrow. Yes. And Very good, is. yes. And then you're gonna have a line in between them. Oops, I accidentally did a dot. <laughs> That's okay. And then a line over to here. And then a line over to here. I need to do the kitchen. All right. Now we're going to do his eyeballs. And so you make a big oval coming down out of the eyebrow. And then another one coming out of this eyebrow. And then pupils. So now we need to do his nose. We're going to. We don't want it to come to a point so much as just kind of a wide rainbow with a little bit of a point. And like a curve. And it's right in between his eyeballs. Oh, that's going to be hard to fit the nose. I fit it in. Very good. And now we're going to make a mustache. So the mustache comes right next to it and mm -hmm. then... It comes over like that. Is this like Oh, this? that's so good. Yeah. So you want it to kind of curl out a little bit. And then, like I did. Yeah. And then it comes down. And then it goes flat over. And then a little triangle shape right here under the nose. It's like Very a, good. It's, it's like a, I love yours. I love how hers curls so much that I'm going to make mine curl a little more. Very good. Okay. And then this side does the same thing. Very good, sweetie it's pie. It's like Whoops. one of those things like... Hey, we're going to make a rainbow that goes off to the side a little bit. What is this for? The shovel. Look how big mine is. And then we're going to draw another, to yeah, another rainbow that. inside of it. And then yeah. it hooks together. And then there's a little line in there. And then under it, there's a line that comes together, like but a not handle. Like it kind of like a triangle, but it doesn't point. Like and then you can bring a line across right there. All right, we're not going to do, yeah, so do a line across, but it doesn't overlap. Okay, so now we're not going to do the handle quite yet. What we want to do is the ears now. So the ear comes over and out. And then it curves down and hides behind that shovel. And then up here it curves in and meets up right there. So it's kind of hiding behind the shovel. And then over here it comes out of the eyebrow and down to right next to this mustache. Good. And then it, well, you didn't. Wait for me. Sorry. It's okay. So that's one way of doing the ear, but the way I wanted to do it was where it goes out, over, and curves down, right there. Now we need to draw the top of his shirt. Well, first we should draw the side of his body. So it comes down right here. Okay. And then the side of his body over here. That's a great blink. You kind of look, it's going to come to right here, the side of his body. And then you're going to draw the top of his shirt. Dabby, dabby. 
Chubby, chubby. Can we start with his belt now? Hold on. We got to do his arms. So one arm comes like that, and the other arm comes like that. Oops. And then you have to draw the bottom part of each arm. So you've got four lines coming together. And we've got the edge of his sleeves right there. And then his little hands. All right, and now we gotta draw the edge of the shovel because it's. Forgot to do. All right, and now we're gonna draw the handle to the shovel because it comes behind the arm, and then it comes out behind it like that, and then the handle is like a sideways oval. Now the side of his body comes down here and then it curves in right here. It's like you. And then this side curves in too. And then we need to draw his belt. So the way we do his belt is just <laughs> a straight line across here. And then we've got an oval for his belt buckle. And then another straight line along and then it comes right over to here all right all right now we need to draw his feet and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna draw two lines on either side and then one in the middle and then you're gonna make a rainbow shape that connects them and then underneath I'm just drawing a straight line across and another straight line across and then two little lines for the toes i love how your gnome turned out let's color it's it now the same of that one. yeah it looks so good can we color them now yeah awesome let's get coloring I hope you had so much fun drawing the gnome from Bluey and I would love to see how your gnome turned out. So take a picture of it or have one of your parents take a picture of it and then you can put it on Instagram in your stories and tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio. If you do. <laughs> and then we can be able to see it. We would both love to see it, huh? And uh, make sure you follow us here on YouTube. Click subscribe so that you can keep seeing our videos. All right, shall we say goodbye? Bye! <laughs> <I hope so. laughs>